What's going on, YouTube? Coming back at you with another video. Okay, so Bizarre reacting to and speaking on this whole situation with um, Royce59 on The Breakfast Club. Bizarre got a four plus minute video on his Instagram. In a nutshell, though, what he's saying in the caption pretty much sums it up. He says, Detroit, we need to stick together. So he's telling artists out there and warning them, you know, be careful how you move when you're out there talking about these other people, dissing artists or whatever the case may be, and you think it's not going to get on their radar or you think, you know, they're not going to hear about it. And, you know, it can it can make situations go bad. Like in this situation, T Grizzly, had he have not dissed Eminem, potentially he had the opportunity to work with Eminem and could have had his career maybe catapulted on a different level. Like Eminem is one of those type of people that could, at the blink of an eye, change your whole career, change your whole life. So um, it looks like the situation kind of blew up in T Grizzly's face. He said some and turns out because of what he said, it looks like Eminem passed on the time at working with him. So he's, he's warning people about that. He's warning them or he's telling them that they need to stick together. Don't, you know, worry about what kind of genre, what kind of music they're making as far as in the rap, whether they're making hardcore rap, whether or not they're making um, the kind of music that Bizarre makes, whether or not they're making the kind of music that Eminem makes. Everybody needs to be on the same accord, just pushing forward for Detroit. So that's basically what he's saying in a nutshell. Uh, the situation with T Grizzly, kind of crazy. It does look like that's if that's what happened. Um, it blew up in T Grizzly's face. It's kind of a double-edged sword, though, like dissing people. Because on one hand, you got people like 50 Cent who made his name off of dissing people and, you know, made a career out of it. And then on the other hand, you can have situations like this where, you know, you say something about somebody and then later on, because you, you know, you may have burned that bridge. They're not fucking with you later on when maybe the them fucking with you could be what changes your career, changes your life. So uh, you got to be careful how you move. It's definitely a tricky situation. I think Detroit is one of those cities, though, where everybody, um, you know, has so much love for the city and is so proud of where they're from. They should all be pushing in unity like what he's saying. I think it should be like that everywhere. But if not. Detroit is definitely one of those cities where, you know, it's a smaller, big city that everybody should just be on the same accord trying to continue pushing Detroit to the forefront. So crazy situation. I'm wondering what people out there think. Do you think Royce was wrong for telling Eminem to not work with, with T Grizzly at the time? Was T Grizzly wrong for dissing him? I want to know what people think in the comments. Leave some feedback. Hit the like, subscribe, share. Make sure you ring the notification bell too. I appreciate you.